Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics that is introduction to normal forms. So before starting the session, so in our previous session, we have seen the logical equivalence. How can we find out the logical equivalence of given formula using laws of logic as well as using truth tables. And sometimes it will be difficult to find the logical equivalence by using either formula or by using the truth table. In such cases, we'll move on with the normal forms. So that is the topic and that is the importance of normal form. So let us start the session. So normal forms, introduction to normal forms. So the main purpose of using these normal forms is to simplify the formula. To simplify the formula. And this simplification will be used in finding the logical equivalence. And these are of two types. So a normal forms are of two types. One is conjunct to normal form. Another one is distinct to normal form. So usually we call it as a C N F and this as dnf cnf and dnf so once you get the formula so we have to simplify that particular formula compound formula into either cnf or dnf which makes easy to find out the logical equivalent so which simplifies the given formula compound formula so before going to see this conjunct to normal form and the distinct to normal form in deep so we need to learn the two things. One is elementary sum and elementary product. So in this session, we'll see what is the elementary sum and what is the elementary product. In the next session, we'll see what is the conjunct to normal form and distinct to normal form and how we can uh, find, uh, how we can change the formula into either CNF or DNF. So we'll see the procedure, right? Now we'll see, yeah, Elementary sum and elementary product. The first one, elementary sum. So you, we know that the propositions and those propositions will be either simple or atomic and one more proposition we call it as a compound or composite. Right? So where it will be having some connectors. So here Elementary sum means the propositions, propositions with or connective or connective is called elementary sum. So if you are going with the uh, compound or a composite formulas. So if it is having only or connective, that means disjunction. Okay, disjunction connective, then we can call it as an elementary sum. See, for example, let me P and Q are propositions. Propositions. So we can say P or Q. It is an elementary sum. Q or P, it's also an elementary sum. Negation P or Q, negation Q or P, negation Q or negation P. So all these comes under elementary sum. Elementary sum. So because the propositions and their negations are connected with or, that means a disjunction. Right? The propositions and their negations. 
so there can be either proposition or neg negation of a proposition so if those propositions will be connected with the disjunction then we can call it as an elementary sum okay so this will be used in our cnf and dnf okay now similar to this one there is a one more concept called elementary product elementary product so what is this elementary product so prepositions with and connective and connective are called as elementary products that means conjunction so if the propositions that means a simple propositions are connected with a conjunction then we can say them as a elementary product for example similarly p and q are propositions simple propositions these are simple propositions right so p and q q and p negation p and negation q negation p and q negation q and p so whatever the propositions there are connected with this conjunction those are called as elementary products elementary products right so these two forms that means elementary sum and elementary products will be used in normal forms now we'll see the definition of a cnf and dnf and then we'll stop and in our next session we'll see one example how can we convert into either cnf or dnf now so remember these two terms elementary product and elementary sum cnf that means a conjunctive normal form when we will be calling it as a conjunctive normal form so if the formula the formula means a compound formula right or composite formula is in the form of product of elementary sums see this is most important product of elementary sums so simply you can remember this one if you are calling it as a product which is be represented with a and and if it is a sum it will be represented with a or so the form of product of elementary sums for example <coughs> elementary sum p or q negation p or negation q q or negation p so these are all elementary sums product of elementary sums so in between there should be product so conjunction means product right so the product of elementary sums if the formula is in this format only that means there should be elementary sum and in between two elementary sums the connective should be the conjunction and here also this is an elementary sum and this is elementary sum in between the connective is only conjunction so in, if the formula is in such a way then we can call it as a cnf that formula is in cnf so this will be the simplified one okay so we need to convert any formula into this cnf next dnf which is distinct to normal form quite opposite so if the formula if the formula is in the form of is in the form of sum of elementary products sum of elementary products so there should be some elementary products and there the connective between uh, two elementary products should be sum so here example you can go with p and q this is an elementary product negation p and q negation p and negation q so these are all uh, different elementary products so 
in between the connective should be disjunction in between the connective should be disjunction so two elementary products is connected with a disjunction and two elementary products is connected with a disjunction so if the formula is in the form of this sum of elementary products so we can say it as dnf so these are the two different normal forms which will simplify the given formula to find the logical equivalence right so hope you understood uh, regarding the introduction about the normal forms why we are using the normal forms and uh, different types of normal forms and the definition of this uh, cnf and dnf two normal forms so let's stop here and uh, if you are, uh, hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubt regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much